News Nation uh, political contributor, of course, former White House press secretary. And uh, Sean, you, you've talked about this. You know, there's been a lot of bad looks for the Republican Party through all of this. But Joe's point there about the fact that you go through all of this and all this time has passed, and that there are some Republicans who say, well, you know what, I'm not going to vote for Emmer because he voted to certify the election. Is that, is that another bad look for the Republican Party after all it's been through? What would you say about that? I think there have been a few bad looks, so I'm not really sure that that's going to put it over the top. <clears throat> but that being said, look, you're, you need 98-plus percent right now to get to 217 of the 221 that are part of the conference. Uh, there's, I, I just don't know. I mean, you look at the list of the people who are against him right now, and it's 26 in number publicly. Uh, maybe he can cut that in half, but he's still going to be over a dozen short. And uh, so, look, I, this is crazy, and I know what I'm about to say. As a guy that worked, I was the spokesman for the House Republican Conference. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up in the House, if you will. But I'm telling you, I would have never said this prior to today. I actually wonder if it's going to take somebody from the outside, a Lee Zeldin, if you will, who the co their colleagues trust that says, I will come in and do this job uh, and, and, and maybe do it as a, as a uh, placeholder a, uh, for a while. But I, I can't. I mean, we went through nine today, two last week. There's only so many left. And you start to realize that it's going to take somebody who they're not thinking of. But Hmm. You got the foot. I mean, this is like the three little bears. Like it was too hot. It was too cold. It was just right. I mean, they're it's never, never going to find right, the yeah. just right right, right. now. It's just, you well, know, but the problem but, is. is oh, that, no, go ahead, Sean. So finish that thought. But I, it prompted a no, question, no, but go ahead. It, we saw this with Jordan. It's a seesaw. You get too far to one side. You lose some folks. You see mm -hmm. with Emmer that you lose a bunch of the others. But then you saw some of the folks that are among the nine today. I thought Kevin Hearn from the Republican Study Committee, the congressman from Oklahoma, would have actually been a consensus candidate. Uh, and, and maybe they start recycling some of these folks, but I think you only get one shot out of the barrel here. Uh, so that's why I think at some point they might revert to and go, hey, what about so-and-so? Well, that's uh, crazy we when you think about it, because it's always someone like me, like a TV host or, or a reporter, that every time this happens, they say, oh, you know, you don't have to be a member of the House to be Speaker, and everybody no, does but the that's same why I'm story. Saying, and, the, and then an insider like you says, never, that'll never happen. But now you're saying... That's, no, yeah. no, and, and you're absolutely right. That's why I'm saying... I have always, that scenario that you just played out is exactly what I've done. There'll be a tie in the Electoral College, right. and then it'll happen. Not going to happen. There'll be a brokered convention. Not going to happen. There'll be an outsider Speaker of the House. Not going to happen. But all of a sudden today, when I watched all nine of those folks slowly winnow out, you know, that field get winnowed, I started to say to myself, you know, at some point we've gone through everybody. And, and, and so the question is, who is pure enough? Who can satisfy President Trump's? Because here's the thing with Emmer. Bottom line is, when Trump put that Truth Social post out just a little while ago, yeah. that's at least, at minimum, worth 10, if not more. And so the problem is, is that if you're Emmer, now you've got to cross Trump to, to vote for Emmer, and it's not going to happen. Yeah, he calls them the rhino and everything else, Republican in name only. And you're right, that probably takes away some votes, and you can't. So I noticed you brought up Lee Zeldin, who used to be a congressman from New York and ran for governor and lost and used to, you know, is now uh, not in elected office. But you didn't bring up Donald Trump himself. That's a bridge too far in terms of, like, because that was the no, talk that's, originally. I mean, look, yeah, well, just with all due respect, it was never the talk. It was some people like no, people Nels bringing it up. Right. The bottom line is, right. Here's two things. Number one, he is running for president. You can't do two things at once. Number two, Donald Trump doesn't want to go into a job. I mean, like at the end of the day, he might toy with it, whatever. But to actually get in and do what that job requires, which is sit down with members on an hourly, if not, you know, minute by minute basis to get votes to cajole is not something he would ever want to do. So aside from the fact that he's running from president, that he has to be in court a lot of the time, all of that, he still would never want to do the job. I think he wants to be wanted, but he is never, ever taking this seriously. So you say it's more likely they turn to a Zeldin or somebody outside the House um, than turn to the Democrats and cut some sort of a deal for like a Patrick McHenry. Oh, no, no. So that won't. That is Look. That, 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 yeah, and again, I would argue that 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 has been that trial balloon has been you know sh popped and shot down. Yeah, because they they that was floated enough. Once there were 15, 20 members that said no way, there is no deal that will ever be cut with the Democrats. That is a that is a bridge too far for the most moderate member, and they know it. It is certain political death if that happens. Uh, and so, 
But I do think that there is a model, and I think Lee would be that person right now. Again, I'm with you. I, you and I would have had this conversation a month ago. I would have said, Connell, there's no way that that's <laughs> going to happen because no one is going to see power. But I think that they've gone through enough machinations now where they look at each other and say, all right, jerk, you know, you've had your chance and then you've had your chance now. Who? I think there's one person that has shown that they have the political acumen and the policy chops to do the job on the outside, and that would right. be Zeldin. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.